What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. So in yesterday's video, I mentioned that stock ticker NNDM or Nano Dimension now has the availability of options trading. I'll leave timestamps in the description so you could just skip through the video. So currently as we stand, there are four expiration dates available. We have the November 20th, December 18th, February 19th, and May 2021. So right off the bat, I'm gonna be entirely, um, I guess, biased here. So I just pulled up a recent statement to shareholders that uh, Yuav Stern made. And in this report, he mentions that he does not expect anything. He does not expect that the short-term negative effects of CV19 will not subside until at least the end of Q1 2021. So we're talking till at least the end of March of next year. So just because these options were made available, it does not mean that the underlying company is gonna start performing all of a sudden. It's really more a sign that the options exchanges are just expecting more volatility in that company. And essentially now they're making these available to us, but it doesn't really guarantee anything that they're available. We can see that with these options, the implied volatility has been pretty high. We could see 172% for the seven, for the $7.50 strike price, 193% here and 183% there. And I also wanna add that open interest and volume has uh, been increasing as I saw, I believe it was like right around 100. So it's since then doubled since the uh, video I made on Friday. Open interest is just an indicator of how many options there are outstanding right now. The volume being the number of times these contracts have been exchanged between investors. Now with that being said, what can we assume about Nano Dimension? Well, right off the bat, let's assume that they're not gonna have any substantial sales until the middle or end of next year. So that might be Q2, Q3, or even Q4 of 2021. It really all depends on this whole illness thing. So if I really had the option to, I would actually be interested in warrants, but I don't believe warrants are available to us on Robinhood. Uh, I have a TD Ameritrade account. I could not find it there either. And if you wanna know what warrants are, they're basically just company issued options so instead of the exchange issued options, they're issued by the company. And the difference with warrants is the expiration is much further out, like three or four years from now versus six months on uh, like Robinhood. But what I do like about the options is if you are interested in these, there's open interest and volume increasing right now. And if I have any interest in these options, it's really only the one that is expiring in May of next year. I'm not interested in betting on price of Nano Dimension. I really just want it as cheap as possible. If you're looking to buy Nano Dimension stock and you want to exercise an option at one of these strike prices, I don't think it's a bad idea. I also do want to mention that when you buy options, they do expire. So if you buy the option and you run it into expiration and do not sell it and do not exercise it, it goes to zero. It becomes worthless. This is not me telling you to buy options in Nano Dimension, but currently I'm sitting on 20 contracts for the May 21st expiration of next year. With the break-even price around $4.18, I don't feel too bad uh, paying that price for the options, considering that in my opinion, I feel like Nano Dimension in the future is going to be worth more than $4.18 right now. I actually only paid about $1.48 premium per contract. Right now it's currently $168, but that's just because the uh, price changed. But if I'm interested in any of the Nano Dimension options, it's going to be the one that's as far out as I can go because the ones that are too close, are more than likely just going to lose your money on these premiums. But you have to understand when you're buying options, you're basically betting on just time. Your betting price is going to be far above $2.50 around time of expiration. I also own shares in Nano Dimension, but I just wanted to buy some contracts too just because based on my own research, I understand what kind of position they're in right now. It's really hard to time the market, and that's why I also went with the latest expiration date. This gives me the most time available to let price move around and see wherever investors are comfortable buying it. And in the event that, let's say, Nano Dimension does come out with uh, positive revenue figures and that things start to ease up a little bit, then I think securing my purchase price at $2.50 would be a really smart move, actually. And there's a really good chance if price does run up in the future, I might just exercise these options. But that pretty much summarizes my take on the available options for Nano Dimension. They're not expecting sales until uh, the middle or end of next year, which is around the time the option expires. I'm not exactly sure if uh, their performance will materialize in their stock price exactly. But if it does, then I am securing myself a purchase price of $2.50.
You have to be able to buy whatever's within your risk tolerance, your current financial position. Do you need the money more or can you risk losing this money and then just working and then putting the money back in? It really is all up to your financial situation. Therefore, what I'm willing to risk on Nano Dimension might not align with what you're willing to risk. After watching this video, if you're still not comfortable with the idea of expiration and watching your contract expire worthless, if you want to invest in them and buy and hold or average down, whatever it be, I personally think that's the smarter option. I want to say thank you to my new subscribers, my new supporters, everyone who's interacting with the channel, leaving comments. Uh, I read all of them. I interact with all you guys as much as I can. It's really fun to uh, get new ideas from everyone and pretty much implement them in my videos and create new and entertaining content for you guys. If you liked what you're watching, please go ahead and hit that like button and you should even consider subscribing. And don't forget to hit the bell notification to get notified when I make videos just like this one. But anyways, that's it and I'll see you in the next video.